Part B. Show that NMC is a straight line. All points on a straight line have the same vector, but with different multiples. So as long as we can prove that, then that's the proof that we need that they are a straight line. If we look first to see the vector between N and M, To go from N to M, we can follow this B vector down one, so that gives us vector B, to P. We've already worked out that P to B is A minus 3B, so if just a half of that will get us to M. So we're going to add on half of our previous answer, A minus 3B. Now we need another vector to compare this to, which is two of the other points on the line. So we're going to go from for M, C. You could have chosen N to C. You could have chosen M to C to start off with. It doesn't matter as long as the proof at the end shows that they're on that straight line. So for M to C, we still have that half A minus 3B. Because that will take us the rest of the way up to point B. And then we need to go across here to A, because we're told that that's halfway across the whole line. So if that's A, that must also be A. Now we have two vectors, but at the moment there's nothing there apart from this half A minus 3B that shows that these two are in a straight line. We have to rearrange these a little bit. And to do that, what we want to try and do is push these letters, these vectors, inside the brackets. So for N, M, we do a little bit of rearranging on this one. To put B inside this bracket, it would have to be the same as half of 2B. So we can still have that half outside the bracket. That's going to leave us with A. If I add 2B, it's going to be minus B. Now on M, C, I want to put A in the bracket, same thing. I could put 2A over in there. So that's going to leave me with a half outside. 3A minus 3B inside the bracket. Now, at this stage, we're pretty close. If we want to show that they've both got this A minus B vector, we need to take this 3 outside our brackets. So if we take the 3 outside the brackets, that leaves us with 3 halves. A minus B. Both of these have the same vector with a different multiplier. So here's our proof. We still need to write a little bit to show this. So it's like both are on vector A minus B. That should give us the full four marks.